Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, moon phase and spawning bluegills. A lot of people have been asking questions about, uh, you know, does it uh, increase the spawning activity during the full and new moon periods? And uh, a lot of people agree that it does, and some people uh, don't abide by that. It, um, some people think it's an old wives' tale or a myth. Uh, but uh, in keeping records over the past, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 years, and I've done it for a lot longer, I started noting that uh, bluegill activity did peak around full moon periods once water temperatures got to be 70 degrees or, or even more. Um, and the most recent case I've, I've had of this was where we had uh, what they call the strawberry moon, which is the big full moon in June. It was actually late in June, and it was long after uh, the initial spawn for bluegills. And some bluegills had actually even spawned twice uh, up to that point because we had an early spring. Temperatures got pretty up, up there pretty quick. So uh, I just want you to watch this footage here with uh, – I fished the very next day after the strawberry moon. It was a bright sunny day. Uh, it had long been uh, fish on and off of beds. But uh, take a look at some of this action. It, it might convince you that uh, these moon phases do have an effect on these fish and their activity, their spawning activity, and their feeding activity. Hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> decent one. A decent one. Huh. I'd keep the distance. There it is. Wow. That one took it, man. Hey, nice hybrid, man. Check that hybrid out. Whoa. Check that hybrid out. Those are stunning fish, no matter where they're caught. Wow, that's thick. Look how thick that fish is. That's sick, man. Yeah, that's probably a three-year-old fish at the most. Wow, crazy. Thank you, bud. <laughs> pumpkin seed this time look at that pumpkin seed man all right it's a gorgeous gorgeous although not huge but nonetheless a gorgeous pumpkin seed looks like he got injured early in life all right try something a little bit different here Pretty sure it's going to work. I'm going to use a mealworm on number six Aberdeen hook. I hit him right away. So, hopefully they don't swallow it. That's a pretty nice fish, too. Okay, nice. What a nice fucking big gold bluegill. There's a pretty decent hen. It's hit way out. So, not everything's so tight. Beautiful day, man. Nice and cool. There's no oh, I missed him. Oh, I tell you, holy mackerel. Look at that guy. Dropped it right in front of him and he hit it. That's crazy. Boy, they're going after the trout magnet mini crawl. I tell you that. A little silly. But I like it. 
silly, but I like it a lot. Four pound bass bait. That's something decent. That feels like crappy. Yeah, there's crappies out there. How about that? Might be able to catch some decent ones. In the weeds. First crappy of the day. Nice. Well, of course, the camera is always off. The camera is always off when we get a big fish. And there they are. Nice 13 inch crappy. Cool. Come here, baby. Quit, quit acting crazy. Come here, baby. Quit acting so crazy. <laughs> nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Thank you, bud. Let's get another one. Look at this guy. Big old green sunfish, man. Pretty sure that's a salad greeny. Looks like it. Looks like it to me. Looks like it to me. Pretty fish. We got about a dozen beds out there. Pretty far. Got a couple pretty big fish on them. There's one right there. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. That's another hybrid. That's a gill cracker. I mean, that's a pumpkin gill, excuse me. That's a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin gill. Oh, oh, wow, I got three bluegills on one mealworm, that's pretty good, maybe I'll get four, pretty, I can't put that on there a little bit better, fish right here oh. 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 got me a female got me a hen got me a hen and she's not even spawned yet spawned out yet wow nice fish Nice fish. There's something there. There's one. Nice one. Ooh. That a big rotund bluegill. Rotund. Pretty. Pretty fish. Ooh. Didn't even see him. Didn't even see him. Eho, eho. Ah, very nice. What a really nice fish. Really nice fish. Cool.
a big bull like that. <laughs> that is so much fun. Man, I tell you, you could not resist the pink worm. Oh, they don't want the worm. I'll get it back. <laughs> and that long shank hook, boy, that helps. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What a beautiful fish. Oh, got a colorful pumpkin seed. It's a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. Check this out, man. Another cool looking fish. Another one for the fish list for today is that one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big pumpkin. Big pumpkin. Yes. That's the fish we want. I know that wasn't the most beautiful attempt, but that is a great great specimen of a pumpkin seed wow what a fish what a fish all day long trying to sneak up on one like that and there he is nine inch class pumpkin seed holy mackerel what a fish wow what a fish Well, last night we had this thing called a strawberry moon, which is supposed to be a big, lustrous moon. And uh, I knew that bluegills do frequently abide by the moon phase for spawning periods. And uh, sometimes, oh, I just spooked off. A half a dozen nice fish. All right, Let's see what happens here. The moon phase can actually be a really good thing. You get a big old strawberry moon, or some of these special moon phases. Who knows like it? Mama or daddy let's behave. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah. What a nice big bluegill. Put him out in the sun. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of activity during that uh at least during that particular full strawberry moon, the big moon in June, uh, and um, caught a lot of fish, a lot of different species of fish, bass, crappies, we caught bluegills, we caught green sunfish, we caught some hybrids. Fish were active, and um, they were not necessarily on beds. Uh, they were in the vicinity because they were shallow still, but uh, bright sunny day, um, and it was... Uh, uh, a very very good day i for one am convinced that the full moon and um, i haven't looked at the new moon periods but i'm convinced that full moon periods can in some bodies of water um, propel feeding activity and spawning activity with bluegills and other sunfish species so everybody has their opinion that's mine hope you enjoyed the video we'll talk to you later y'all be blessed <laughs>